Okay, we're uh, going to accelerate the math courses. Uh, we're going to have fewer students in the class. But there's going to be some uh, key items uh, that the instructor needs to, uh, to change in order to help uh, increase success. And uh, one of them is to change instruction. Um, we have to get away from the standard model of, of uh, lecture and uh, students sitting there taking notes. Um, need to put some kind of active learning in the classroom and um, I'll create videos of what I mean by that and, and how what are some ideas and you can do in the classroom to uh, put that in place the very easiest if you have taught uh, for 40 years uh, the standard lecture and students taking notes and so forth very easiest way is to use that time at the end uh, for students to work on their homework um, they can work on it uh, in groups whether that be two or three that's kind of kind of your choice uh, that allows um, that time at the end for the students to get engaged in some some manner uh, that they're not just sitting there um, passively taking notes but they're actively doing something so that's the very easiest way so you know there's there's really no excuse for ma not making some kind of change your instruction now um, we're not dictating any particular form or something like that we're just giving you giving you different ideas that you can you can put in place now we want to um, increase success uh, of course we, we've always wanted that right you know it's like what's what's new well in this way the college is making a, a real commitment uh, the fact that um, the, the going 100 percent acceleration uh, the fact that they're having small class sizes that's that's huge huge what they're what they're um, risking there we, and um, instructors need to also step up and make appropriate changes now one thing to keep in mind is we do not want you to uh, water down the course uh, we do not want you to cover less material. Um, we do not want you to um, uh, give free points. Um, for example, if you if you give a bunch of extra credit points, um, doesn't do anything but inflate the grades. Might make it look good, but keep in mind that math is not just a you get through it and that's it. In a lot of cases, that's uh, used in further courses. And if you don't have the analytical skill you need to be um, to be successful in those, then that destroys your dream. And you might be thinking, well, okay, yeah, but these students, they're not, not going into the sciences. They're not going into computer science or, or mathematics or anything like that. They're just uh, art and, and humanities and, and so forth. Well, how do you know what they're going to eventually do? When I started uh, college, I, I started majoring in forestry. And um, I didn't want to. I didn't want to be in college. It's just, but I thought forestry. Oh, I could go out in the woods, have some fun, um, so forth. And then I changed my major. Um, after two years, I realized it was a little too hard to work for low pay and seasonal work. So then I changed it to uh, computer science. And then another uh, two years later, I changed it to computer science, science slash mathematics. So you don't know what these students going to do. They, they, they'll change your majors and so forth. So you can't guarantee the fact somebody says they're uh, going to major in um, uh, psychology that they're actually going to do that. They might change. And uh, you want to get them through with the proper analytical skill to ensure that they'll be successful in whatever they do. Um, if you water down the course, um, you might be doing nothing more than destroying their dream. Uh, for example, uh, go to a nursing program some of the mathematics you need in the nursing program are just basic math uh, fractions adding subtracting simplifying uh, so forth um, not even something you need out of college algebra but they re they expect you to have the critical um, thinking skills and those uh, come from uh, the development of all the different topics in uh, intermediate algebra college algebra and uh, if you don't have that and you go to a nursing program, while you might be able to work simple fractions, that's not the analytical thinking that they're, they're looking for. And you won't be successful. Uh, for an education degree, doesn't do you any good to get through college algebra if you can't pass the math portion of the state test. It's just like you waste, wasted their time by even doing that. So um, we want to maintain the rigor of the course. So do not lower that. Um, they're administration's been very supportive of this uh they're not gonna not gonna come back to you and say hey you know you 
your DWF rate's out of sight, you need to do something about that. Um, they might recommend changes in your course when they, you know, they sit there and evaluate it and so forth. But um, I've never seen them go, unless there's extreme cases. You know, I had I had one uh, uh, faculty that I, um, I mentored, and um, she called me up on the phone and said, I, I'm a little concerned because I'm having a lot of withdrawals from my course. And I said, well, sometimes that happens, I told her. And um, she had told me that in one of her previous courses, she had had everybody drop the class except for two students. And she had like 24, 25 to begin with. And of those two students, one got a D and one got an F. Well, she shouldn't have been teaching. <laughs> I don't think any amount of change would have probably um, uh, helped her. Um, this wasn't at Cali. This was at Butler. And um, after that one, uh, one course, uh, they, didn't, they didn't ask her to come back. So I'm assuming she had quite a few that didn't finish that course successfully. But for the most part, they understand you're going to have some bad semesters. You're going to have some semesters where you have the huge amount of D's, W's, and F's. Um, the idea is that we recognize that we do need to change, and we, we work toward that. But those are the, the changes that uh, we're looking for the instructor to make. And like I say, I'll, I'll create uh, separate videos talking about some of the different um, different types and so forth.